Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my garage gym. Today I'm going to be giving you guys just a quick run through of what a strongman Saturday typically looks like here in my gym. So I want to get to warming up. But one of the things about my space is I'm a father of two and hey -o. my wife also runs like a, a DIY blog and that's her, her main source of uh, income to our family. So a lot of my garage isn't just a gym. A lot of my garage is, you know, parent storage plus a gym. So first thing, before you can even warm up, you gotta move stuff out of the way. Now, just as a note, it is a brisk and lovely 32 degrees this morning. So probably be spending a little bit extra time in warm ups just to make sure that, you know, I don't like kill myself or something. So I've recently picked up this warm up uh, to go before my shoulder rock based on a Kabuki strength video. So if you haven't looked that up, you should. All right, welcome to the voiceover. I'm gonna be jumping in here from time to time just to kind of give you guys the behind the scenes on what's going on. So I warm up for axle press and I like to start with an empty bar when it comes to overhead movements especially. I think the only movement I don't warm up with just the bar on is the deadlift. This bar only weighs 25 pounds and we have the 10 pound weights on the inside there which makes the bar math a little bit easier. Here we are working up through 95. We're at the beginning of a cycle right now, so everything is RPE based on this program and we aren't really supposed to go above 6.5 RPE, which I definitely do on the EMOM that takes place after this warm up. After we do the axle, we have single arm uh, like dumbbell or kettlebell press. Some guys on the team will do this double handed, so two hands at the same time, some do it one. I see it as an opportunity to really work on circus dumbbell, which is why you see my, my hand out to the side exactly like I would do with circus dumbbell. And again, this is supposed to be light, uh, which it actually ends up being, but it's just a push press. I do go a little bit, I guess, jerk-ish, but it's mostly just a push press. Cool, so uh, we're just done with the overhead stuff now, so really what we gotta figure out, right now we're in an off-season type program, so it's kind of optional on what we want to do a carry with. So that's currently what we're debating. We'll see if we'll get to the bottom of this pretty quick. I think last week we did sandbag? Keg. Keg. The keg, so try to do something different this week. Oh, what do you wanna do, man? You wanna do yoke? Sure. So how many times have you tried to set your yoke up and you couldn't get the cross member on? Well, I got the ticket here. Make sure you just take the time and get it lined up from the get-go. And most of the time, it's a stress-free setup. 
But here we're starting with the yoke. It's about 180 pounds empty, and we're going to end up doing 90 pound jumps, working our way up to our work weight, which again uh, is supposed to be somewhat light RPE at about six and a half to seven. Uh, which I'm honestly not sure how I'm supposed to figure out RPE for a yoke movement, but I get the idea. It's supposed to be light. We end up working up to 450 pounds for a 10 by three every minute on the minute. So now this is like where it's really nice having a training partner because normally if it was just me here, I'd be unloading this whole thing by myself because you have a good training partner, help you pick some of that stuff up, put it back, let's get after it. We get to pick from our wide array of grip choices and today we're using the Rolling Thunder. But basically what we're doing here is we're just probably going, are we doing sets of 20? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going for like high repetition sets. We're in the first phase of a strongman, uh, I think like an 18 week off season program or something like that. So we got time to get strong at stuff right now. We're just trying to build that repetition, that work capacity. But we'll start at 90 pounds and basically just work our way up. Rolling Thunder is my training partner, one of his probably best lifts is on the Rolling Thunder. Here he is, he's just warming up with 135. It's not really that big of a deal for him. Uh, 135 for me, I cannot do for that much weight. In fact, you're about to see me load up to 100 and knock out my first set of 20. Uh, 100 is a good weight for me, first set of 20. I think that my, a good weight for me, PR wise, is like 150, 160 pounds. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. That's pretty much it for Strongman Saturday. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you next week. Remember when it comes to garage gyms, always keep it better, awesome, and badass.